My name is David. Uh, I'm representing here uh, Fabla Budapest, which is an op open innovation center uh, here in Hungary. The core idea is uh, to democratize uh, digital manufacturing technologies, such as 3D printing, 3D scanning, uh, laser cutting, CNC milling, electrical prototyping. Uh, at the Fab Lab, you have the chance to uh, manufacture almost anything you want. If you are a bright mind, but you don't have the tools to make uh, your dreams come true, to hold them, to manufacture them, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be there for you, so it's not going to be there for anybody. So we at the Fab Lab, we are helping individuals and small companies in the development. They can use our knowledge, they can use our infrastructure to make their ideas reality. Chris Anderson from Wired said that this is going to be the third industrial revolution when people uh, are going to have the chance to manufacture uh, their ideas uh, at their home. And this is going to have a strong effect on the ecosystem, on the society level as well. I'm really sure that in Fab Labs all around the world, cool projects are happening right now and they are going to have market value and they are going to have social benefits for the whole uh, society. I'm going to quote the ITU better uh, sooner now. So I think technology should uh, arrive uh, to the society and also for the industry quicker because this is, this is what technology is for. The ICT minister cannot do this by herself. I note the emphasis on the herself. There aren't that very many ICT ministers who are women. More is the shame. My name is Stuart Campo and I work with UNICEF's Global Innovation Center. At UNICEF, we define innovation loosely as doing something new or different that adds concrete value. For us, that means adding value for women and children around the world. But it doesn't mean necessarily something shiny and new. It could be a new approach for a particular country context. Often it has a technology component, but the tech is really just a sliver of the overall solution. So it's really new and different ways of having an impact, having a more effective program response, and delivering results. One concrete example of how we're using technology to empower communities around the world is a program called U Report. U Report, the U stands for youth or you as a young person. And it's a program that grew up in Uganda and now has sort of come to maturity in 17 countries around the world and it's still growing. Very simply, it uses mobile technology, specifically SMS, and now more and more social media channels to allow young people to register as a U reporter in their community and then participate in weekly polls about issues that matter to them. Probably the best non-tech example of what we do in our innovation labs is a program called Upshift. This is a social innovation model that was developed in Kosovo, which was one of our first innovation labs. Quite simply, it's a methodology for introducing design thinking or human-centered design to young people, teaching them how to design and manage a project that addresses an issue that affects them, and then seeding that with some financial and technical resource so that they can bring their projects to fruition.